Okay, so here is my thing, and I'm going to show you how I'm going to run you through the water filling and maintenance char proce charge procedure. Um, I've prepared a uh, uh, list of items to do uh, during the maintenance charge, and I'm going to run you through them. So the first point of the item is to start the car. So here we are, uh, the car is on. I have just uh, finished a full charge and that's usually recommended that uh, one uh, charges the car to full. And then the second point is check that the battery cooling is working. So here is the Think or the Palm uh, with the Think EV monitor and uh, Think EV manager on. So we start the manager and uh, we make sure that the BMS is selected and then we uh, tap on uh, battery cooling and battery cooling and then we do we test whether that's working activating yes and now you should be hearing the yeah it was uh, it was working so next point is uh, check battery temperature so we go back to uh, the monitor and uh, there is the monitor and we wait for a second it's connected to the BMS you see and the temperatures are 23 uh, for the average and 23 for the max degrees and it says that the difference should be between 0 and 1 so that's okay and now we need to register or to write down the overcharged uh, overcharged amp hours since last water refill so we need to find this uh, I think I've set it up here on page number 2 yeah, there we go. Our charge uh, since last water fill is 703 amp hours. So I write this down in my sheet 703 amp hours. Um, um, and then uh, the fifth point or 5A is reset all errors in BMS. So we go to the manager, back to the manager here. Go back to the manager, start the manager. And then uh, it's usually a good idea to actually, uh, we click on errors and then we tap on read. No errors found, so that's okay. Uh, I don't need to clean anything um, and then the next point is reset zero the overcharged amp hours since last water fill and what do we do here is we go to BMS special and then um, we click on water fill completed I know that this is some somehow counterintuitive but this is what it does and we do do activate the water fill completed yes okay that should be done and then um, activate maintenance charge so we go to maintenance charge and we do activate maintenance charge and we say okay initializing connected okay and now we should have we should be done um, according to the next step we need to turn off the car so I turn off the car and we need to plug the charging cable to start the actual charging so I'm gonna plug the cable here I use this uh, um, 
interrupt them. And I will plug the cable in the car. So, now it is plugged. And we start the charge. Uh, it was the green one, I think. And here it is, it's a yellow uh, lamp is lit, which means that it is charging. And now the next step is to um, uh, check that the maintenance charge has begun. And how we do that, we uh, go to the monitor again. Uh, so. And in the... Um, um, BMS uh, section uh, there is a parameter that says uh, maintenance charge so we can see that it is charging now but uh, of course we can't uh, see any of the I'll just uh, change one of these parameters so we can see that um, last overcharge discharged average current no. Last charged. Um. Oh no, I'm sorry. This was in the in the uh, charger, of course. So we change. to the charger ECU and somewhere here we should see um, okay there we go yeah so I don't know if you can see here I'll just try to make it clearer hmm. It says charging on through and then maintenance charge over here over here maintenance charge through so um, we this way we know that the maintenance charge is uh, currently running then uh, we change back to the uh, BMS and the next step is um, Yeah, we need to check the overcharged amp hour since last water fill, and these should be zero now because we did this step on the counter. Yeah, there we go. Overcharged since this should be overcharged since last water fill, and it is currently one amp hours. Um, and check temperature. We can actually. Um, See the temperature is so at 23, 23 degrees, pack voltage is 158.4 uh, volts. And yes, so basically we can stay here at that screen and uh, monitor the overcharged uh, since last water fill and maybe change between screens if you feel that you want to uh, make yourself more comfortable you can do a um, set the temperatures to be shown um, in the uh, that particular window or maybe it would have been actually easier to go here and instead of power we put the parameter for um, what if we need overcharge since last water fill. Okay, there we go. So now we have on one screen the temperatures, the the uh, average temperature, the max temperature, the overcharge since last water refill. Uh, pack voltage, current, and state of charge. 
so um, this is it um, uh, there are a couple of more uh, points uh, but uh, to monitor the uh, temperatures and make sure that the batteries don't go too, too warm and stuff but basically now we need to wait uh, so uh, uh, there's going to be 50 amp hours in the battery um, it is important that uh, we are here or I'm here when uh, these 50 amp hours are um, uh, charged and uh, by looking at the that the current uh, currently used is 10 amps that means that uh, the maintenance charge should be ready um, in about five hours uh, the uh, the charging can stop depending on temperatures if the, the battery temperature gets too high or uh, there are other conditions it can stop for some time and then continue so that could make it longer than five hours but uh, five hours is the uh, minimum um, Back then, now we're done.